Okay, so you're in Microsoft Excel and you want to drop down with color. Now you can either have this color applied to the individual cells or to the entire row. Okay, let's see how this can be done. So we'll deal with applying it to individual cells. So first of all, you need the drop downs. And if you don't know how to do that, you need to select the cells where you want the drop downs to appear. You go to the data tab on your ribbon and the data tools group you click on the data validation button in the settings tab you allow a list and your source now your source can either be cells within your sheet that contain the values you want to appear in the drop down or you can just write them directly into the source box separated by a comma Then click on OK. So you'll now have your drop down. Now to apply the color, you're going to use conditional formatting. So you select the cells, home tab on your ribbon, conditional formatting, highlight cells rules equal to. And if it's yes, I want the cell color to be green. So yes, in that part of the dialog box, choose your color combination in that side of the dialog box click on ok so now if i choose yes i get that green background then i do the same for overdue so conditional formatting highlight sales rules equal to overdue and i'm going to go with this color light red fill and dark red text okay so how do you do it for a whole row well i'll just get rid of that conditional formatting Conditional formatting, clear rules from selected cells. Now to get the conditional formatting to be applied to the whole row based on the drop down list, you need to select all the cells that will potentially need to be formatted. Now when you select multiple cells, although all cells are selected, only one is active and that's the first cell you've selected. You can see this is the active cell because it doesn't have the great background. Now this concept of the active cell is important when you're doing this type of conditional format because you're going to have to write a formula for the conditional formatting and it applies initially to the active cell so let's see what i mean i'm going to go to conditional formatting and this time i need to go to new rule now in this dialog box you're going to select this option here use a formula to determine which cells to format and then you've got to write your formula in here. So formula start with an equal sign and you're writing a formula for this cell initially, the active cell. And basically this needs to change color if the value in B2 equals yes or overdue. So we'll deal with yes first of all. So what I would say is does B2 equal yes? And notice yes needs to go in speech marks. Now that formula will then get copied across and down the rest of the selected cells. Now for that reason, I need to lock the reference to the B because as the formula gets copied across, I still want it to base its criteria on the value in column B. I don't want to lock the two because as the formula gets copied down, I want the formula to relate to row three, row four, row five, etc. Etc. So then I need to specify my format. So I'll say I'll have a green background and white text. So now if I select yes, it formats the whole row. Now to do it for overdue, I need to select those cells again, back to conditional formatting, new rule, use a formula to determine which cells to format. Don't forget you're writing a rule for the active cell, the first cell you've selected. So it would be equals B2 equals overdue. Overdue goes in speech marks and I need to put a dollar in front of the B to lock it. And then I go to format, choose my format. Click on OK, click on OK again. Now, if I choose overdue, the whole row gets formatted. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. 
I'll see you next video.